This is the HPAU Talon Claw. It is a super core, high pressure air tank powered blaster. Some of the key features are it uses a super core by Spectre Armament to power the blaster. It's a pneumatic cylinder that fills up with air, loads a dart, and when you engage the valve, it then fires the dart and retracts the pusher for each cycle. This one in particularly has an electro pneumatic solenoid which regulates the airflow, making your trigger pull very consistent. This is better than pneumatic trigger because if you pull a pneumatic trigger slower, the air release isn't consistent, and so the amount of air going into and out of the super core varies depending on how you pull the trigger. The electro pneumatic solenoid means every shot is as consistent as the last, no matter how quick or slow you pull the trigger. Into the solenoid is the regulator. This regulator is a Wolverine Airsoft Storm regulator. It can accept any size of the common airsoft or paintball HPA tanks, and with the right adapter can take CO2 as well. It is clamp fit into the grip, so you have a stock when you have the air tank attached to it. The air is then regulated through the regulator to the operating pressure of the cylinder of the super core, and then it fires the dart. The barrel is custom threaded to to jet thread size. The Supercore comes with a brass barrel adapter with a step breech so the O-ring can seal well and you have threads on the barrel so you can use any barrel length or size you want. We have the tooling that we can make any length and any size of barrel from our barrel that we have in the inventory from the 509, the 495, the 527, for whatever dart and whatever power you want. That is the blaster overview. This design is by Gabriel Goff on Thingiverse, who adapted the U Talon Claw by Captain Slug. I've taken his design and I updated it to take Captain Slug's newest edition of hardware. I've added Picatinny rails, made installation easier. I made more room for the battery and for the battery connector, so you can use a standard XT60 and a larger battery if you don't want to buy a custom small battery. I have redone the tolerances and the fitting of a lot of parts, so it's a lot easier to assemble and to maintenance, and I added some basic features such as an on and off label because I kept forgetting which way was on, which way was off. And you can also use different regulators. This one is for a pretty medium pressure gauge so it can't get as precise as from zero to 200 PSI. This one goes from 40 to 160 PSI. So your limit is 40 PSI. However, you can still get some pretty lower shots with a shorter barrel which still makes it shoot about 150 and it goes up to 300 FPS or beyond, depending on how your darts work and how well the system is lubricated. The Supercore is accessed from the top by unscrewing, removing this U-channel, and then simply pulling up on this housing. You can disconnect this fitting, take out the solenoid, replace the battery and service all of that. We're working on updating the script so the battery is kept in the bottom, so we'll have battery door, very accessible and very neat and compact. You can get any standard paintball or airsoft HPA tank. This one has an output of 800 PSI and the regulator can take that input pressure, convert it down into a lower pressure to activate the super cord. If you want a bottle on or a remote line, you can simply relocate your regulator and your tank to an external pack and run a line from the blaster to your pack. Or you can get a bottle adapter, which will be available on our store to just tap into the regulator. And then you can go into whatever size hosing you want. So you can have a really unlimited amount of options on the size of tank, relation, location of tank, and how you want to run it. To activate the solenoid, put it in the off position. Take your tank and it just screws on with a standard threading. So I turn the regulator all the way down on the storm regulator. You just turn it all the way to the right so it's tightened down all the way. Then you just screw on and install your tank. You can hear the air engage and you're ready to go. Turn on your solenoid and you're ready to fire. This one is at pretty much the lowest possible setting of 40 PSI. And that's about 150 feet per second. Now if we turn it up a little more, we can actually get any range in between that and 300 FPS. So just turn it, let's go another full turn. That's about 65 to 70 PSI. You just use an Allen key, which is included in the blaster. And that's about 180 PSI. I don't know, I can't do that very well, I've just been looking at it. We can turn it up even more. 
That's about 50 PSI, actually. This is pretty much as much as you'd want to go without hurting anybody. Even then, that's hitting like 300 FPS. I don't even know. Blowing the heads off of all those darts. 